this is Shauna, and my Instagram accounts are So For Dolls, Pretty in Pink Reborn, and So For CPKs. I'm an adult collector making video for other adults to enjoy. And right there is Pixie, and she's looking at this Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, so today, obviously, is a Cabbage Patch Kid video, and I'm showing you one of the most special kids in my collection. This one is absolutely amazing, and I think when you hear the story of what makes him so special, you can probably agree, you can agree with me what's so special. So um, this kid I was able to get, and I might get choked up saying this, from one of my friends, uh, my friend Craig. I met him in 2002, and is a wonderful collector, and he passed away last year. And at the time, uh, it was shocking, and we were not expecting uh, my friend to pass away. And this kid played a big role in the start of the friendship with Craig. So this is um, a 2002 Shoal Creek Cabbage Patch Kid, and his skin color is fudge. And he was adopted at Babyland General, and um, he is bald. And right now he's wearing this uh, little crocheted cap I made him. And this outfit I found last year that I think just works perfectly for him. It's really reminiscent of the Coleco um, snowsuit with the teddy bear but this one has a dinosaur, as you can see. And those hats had like the, I mean the Cabbage Patch Kid outfit had a hat like this with a little puff ball. And these are kind of like the white walker shoes that the Cabbage Patch Kid Coleco Kids had. But this is a full size um, soft sculpture, 22 inches. And I'm gonna take the hat off to show you and I'm gonna tell you about my friend Craig. So I actually found this kid at spring event and I met Craig at spring event. And I put this boy on um, Time Adopt, which is the same as like a layaway. And um, when I was there, so I, I paid the Time Adopt. Whoops! Here he is without his hat, and look how adorable he is. And the hood does fit him. Okay. But to go back to the story, I put this kid on Time Adopt, and I was planning to get him. But then another kid came along, and I, you know, had limited funds, so I decided... Um, I wanted to take him off Time Adopt and um, to get out of the Time Adopt, you know, someone else needed to get him. And I heard about my friend Craig. This was like when we were first, when I first met him. Um, another collector that loved the Fudge Kids too. So I saw Craig and said, hey, you know, you do want to get this one. And he obviously loved the kid too. So he ended up adopting this one. And sorry, it's hard for me to talk about. So he adopted this boy. He was an amazing boy. As I was saying over the years, I've thought about this fudge kid that's so cute, and I've never had an opportunity to get another fudge boy like him. Um, and I, let me tell you about Craig. So Craig and I met, and we had like a bond that first week we met at Spring Event 2002, and there was just like a humor between us. He is sarcastic. We got the same jokes. Um, and seeing him was just great, and it was like coming back to an old friend each year. Um, I'm gonna share some pictures after this video of uh, some of the pictures that we took together over the years. So I knew Craig almost 20 years. Um, and like I said, we just, we could, I always knew if I'm with Craig, it was gonna be laughter. And um, we had, we both loved the movie Gone with the Wind. Um, we both loved um, Fudge Kids, like I said. And there's just so many things we had in common and, you know, didn't live in the same state, only saw each other at spring event, but once we saw each other, it was wonderful and just so many laughs and um, he was well loved by so many collectors. And today I took out Sam and um, he named this kid Sam and I took him out because I needed an extra hug and I wanted to think about him and I've been meaning to make this video. and. As I took out Sam, I was looking at his paperwork and looking at, you know, Craig's own signature. Let me just kind of go. So as I was, like I said, I, I took out the signature and I was looking at his paperwork because um, it has like birth certificate and adoption papers. And I was looking at Craig's signature. I noticed there was another paper in there. And that was, I think I told you the release form that has both of our names on there. And I didn't even remember putting them on time adopt. I thought I just put them on hold. But it has for the parents, um, the release form. It has both of our names and that just, it made me happy to see um, that I, the story I remembered was correct because it was almost 20 years ago. So 
Um, I hope you enjoy these pictures at the end of um, Craig and me together over the years. I truly do miss this friend and it's a great loss for me. And um, I think you, for all of you that collect, just remember the people that you meet are more important than the collection. And I love my friend Craig. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye. I forgot to say this about Sam. I just found out today that he is hand signed. I don't know why I didn't check sooner. Um, at the spring event, I met Craig and I have to say what I'm saying in this video does not do, does not say enough about the friend that he was to me and how great he was to other people and the humor and that we shared. Um, there's just no way to capture it in a video. But this kid is hand signed and was excited to see. When we went to that spring event, Xavier Roberts was there. And he's the one that came up with the Cabbage Patch Kids, the father of Cabbage Patch Kids, and he signs all the Cabbage Patch Kids. And they're usually stamped. But he was there for the collectors, and he was doing hand signed. And I'm not going to show you the tush, but on the tush right there. So he's stamped. Um, like the Cabbage Patch Kids are, but we were able, collectors were able to meet him and get a photo opportunity, and um, this kid was hand-signed by Xavier Roberts. I'm thinking Craig probably brought him to the hand-signing because you were allowed to bring one kid through to get hand-signed. So I think you could bring like your spring event kid and one extra. So I, my guess is this is the kid Craig had signed. So I was really excited to see that. And I'm sure somewhere if someone has a picture of Craig with this kid and Xavier Roberts, I would love to get a hold of that picture.